Alright everybody, welcome back YouTubers to the Anonymous Miner channel and today I would like to go over wallets. So, our good friend Teaspoon Miner right here, I have the video pulled up, made a video about Unminable and I love Unminable. I use, um, I mine a lot of tokens on there, I use it a lot. However, I noticed shortly after his video was released that we started getting some comments here like, nice video, but what Shiba address should I use? So I wanted to go over this. Uh, I know Teaspoon Miner already responded. He says right here the Shibo token is an ERC20 token and that it should work and he is absolutely correct and I wanted to go over that today. So first of all, what exactly is an ERC20 token? Well, let me pull that up right now. So, um, an ERC20 token is actually something built on top of the Ethereum blockchain. So, ERC20 refers to a scripting standard used within the Ethereum blockchain. This technical standard dictates a number of rules and actions that an Ethereum token or smart contract must follow and steps to be able to implement it. So basically it is a token or a cryptocurrency built inside of the Ethereum blockchain. So now there's a couple of things that you need to be aware of. One, it's tied to Ethereum. So if Ethereum crashes, so does this. If Ethereum goes up, technically so does this. That's not necessarily true, but the idea that it is built on the Ethereum blockchain means that it technically should go up as well. That, again, take that with a grain of salt because it's not necessarily true. Um, now, there are other ones as well. There is also a BEP2 token, which is a token built on to bridge the Binance gap. So we have a FBEP2 token is a Binance token. Now this, anything with BEP2 is probably not gonna work for the wallet things that we're about to go over. And this is a crossover, so you need to be very careful with this. However, the ERC20 tokens should work on most wallets. So, I know that in his comment, um, Teaspoon Miner mentioned Trust Wallet. So, let's go over to Trust Wallet. This is the Trust Wallet website right here. Okay, and I'm going to leave all the links for all these websites that I'm going to as a reference down below. Okay, so Trust Wallet is a premier mobile Ethereum wallet which works with any ERC20, BEP2, BEP2 and ERC721 tokens. Well, what's an ERC721 token? Let's find that out. An ERC721 token, or more commonly referred to as non-fungible tokens. Well, that's, most of us know what an NFT is at this point. Um, if you don't, comment down below and I'll make a video separate about that. So you can also receive NFTs on your trust wallet, is what they're saying. Which is, ERC721 is another name for NFT. So, back to what we were talking about. So... ERC20 tokens on the Trust Wallet is over here. Trust Wallet provides a user with unified wallet addresses that can be used to manage Ethereum and all ERC20 tokens. That means that you can use the same address. So you can use the same Ethereum address to mine to any of these tokens that we're talking about on Unminable. So let's go back over to Unminable real quick. Do Okay, so unminable.com, this is the main page right here. And right here, one inch is an Ethereum token. So it's supported on the Ethereum network. You should be able to send that to your Ethereum address. Chili's, Hollow, Matic, Shiba Inu, these are all Ethereum tokens. AAA uh, Wave, or AVE, sorry. I, I just want to say AAA Wave because <laughs> of that brand. But anyways, the this is an Ethereum token. Um... This is an Ethereum token, basic attention token. A lot of these you can send to your Trust Wallet. Or, I also like to use, um, Trust Wallet is good, but it is actually a software wallet. Uh, Exodus also, let's go over to Exodus now. Exodus also, this is uh, support.exodus.com, ERC20 tokens are accepted. So, ERC20 tokens on Exodus are called Ethereum assets since they live on the Ethereum blockchain. Um, and it basically means, again, all you have to do is just send it to your Ethereum address. So, it'll be the same exact address again. Exodus supports it, Trust Wallet supports it, 
but these are both software wallets so I wanted to go over a cold storage wallet and in case you're not aware of what a cold storage wallet is cold storage um, is when you store something offline so I personally have a ledger wallet now this means that um, basically you have to plug in my USB device so right here my wallet is kept on a device such as a USB offline you cannot access any of my wallets without plugging in that USB and actually unlocking them so let me show my uh, ledger wallet real quick well actually first of all let's go into the ledger so ledger accepts ERC 20 tokens as well you can manage ERC tokens in ERC 20 tokens in ledger live using the ethereum app on your ledger device up to 1250 ERC 20 tokens are supported so this is where I store a lot of my tokens because these um, well first of all you can still earn interest on a lot of them that you can earn interest on for example Algorand Algorand is available on Unminable let's go look at that real quick so if I type in Algorand here this is available it is not an Ethereum token or a Tron token which is the other one that I want to talk about there's a bunch of Tron tokens on here um, for example TRX clever right here this is it has to do with the video games I looked it up before um, and there's a couple more so I'm holding Tron as well as some of these Tron tokens right wink for example Tron you can hold USDT on the your Tron as well so I'm holding some of that stuff on my ledger and what I was going to get at is on Algorand though this is a whole different crypto but you can earn interest on your cold storage Algorand so I can hold Algorand in my cold storage nobody can possibly get it and I'm earning interest on it which is something pretty rare that is really cool to me now uh, you still have to take this with a grain of salt because if Algorand crashes well guess what you don't have any interest because there's nothing left but Algorand, if you look it up, um, not financial advice, I believe is a pretty cool project. It might go somewhere. I do hold some Algorand. And let me show you that real quick. So here is my Ledger wallet. You guys can see that I'm about to stop mining soon because, well, I have too much money. Um, let me see if I can zoom in a little bit on this. Yeah, there we go. Okay. So I have about 171 million dollars in Ethereum right here, and I have about 927 thousand dollars with a Shiba Inu, and um, I only have about 50, 51 thousand dollars in Tron. And, <laughs> I'm just kidding, guys. <laughs> uh, I had to wipe out what I actually hold. I don't hold this much cryptocurrency. I am not that cool yet, guys, but someday, someday I will be this cool. But anyways, I just wanted to show this is my actual uh, ledger wallet. These are the actual tokens that I am holding. I do hold Algorand. I have modified all these numbers just because I didn't want to show you guys what I'm actually holding. But um, yeah, this is my actual ledger wallet. I do hold Tron with BitTorrent and Clever and Wink, and this is how it shows up in your ledger app. This is actually a screenshot from my phone that I went and changed the numbers on again. The numbers are, again, just a joke. I just want to be clear. But um, anyways, guys, this is how you can send a lot of these tokens to your regular addresses. Most of us already have a um, Ethereum address. So again, let's go back over to Unminable. And any of these tokens that say Ethereum, you can send to your ETH address. So if I wanted to mine Chili's, I have no idea what this is. I haven't done any research on it, but check this out. This is a little bit about what Teaspoon Miner was getting into. So if I were to mine, my graphics card were to do ETH hash. So my graphics card is actually performing um, Ethereum algorithm processes and getting rewarded for that. And then those accepted shares of ethereum are getting sent to unminable and unminable is paying me in the coin that i choose this is what teaspoon miner went over and he went over it very well so i recommend going over that video if you're not aware of this however if i were to plug in my 50 mega hash right here 
it tells me that I would get, if I had 50 mega hash on Ethereum, I would be collecting 10 chilies a day. And I have no idea what chilies again is, but chilies is an Ethereum token, so I could just punch in right here where it wants a CHZ, which is chilies, the short for chilies, or yeah, short for chilies is CHZ. And then it wants my address right here in the syntax is that's an ethereum address just put your ethereum address there and you'll be fine and then right after that you need to put in teaspoon miners referral code and you're set to go without teaspoon miners referral code though you're not donating to batman and batman won't be able to save us all so i really need you guys to go ahead and do that and also like comment subscribe on this video i really appreciate you all thank you for tuning in today and uh let's collect some altcoins huh have a good one see you on the next one